all right what's up everybody i'm back and in this video i'm going to do a quick little walk through on the water on the river walk through of the new piranha scorch yeah so i'm here off the banks of the cascades and i'm going to do a kind of a quick on water review for you guys but i'm going to do like a walk through of the boat first get my explanation of what's going on or my opinion of the boat overall so i'll talk kind of loud because i'm right here by the the water right away so this is piranha this is the new piranha scorch large and this boat's going to come in at three sizes it's going to have a small medium large and there's a kind of a one-off called the scorch x which is going to be similar but supposedly everything to the max so it's going to be like everything that the, everything that the normal scorches has but up you know it's going to be longer faster and all that this is what the largest is the the scorch is a run on the burn series so you had the burn but to me it looks like they've took the burn and mixed it with the 9r with a little ripper influence so this is a boat that's kind of like a combination of a lot of piranhas best designs in my opinion just from the overall looks of it this boat is going to be available in those three sizes and you should be able they're they're just now starting to hit the u.s so you'll start seeing them in dealers popping up you'll probably start seeing people paddle them seeing a few people online already have theirs i'm going to go over the specs with you guys just from memory it comes in at nine foot two and that's the this is the large and it's, it comes in at nine foot two i don't know the volume on it piranha didn't give the volume on it the width, I think, I'll put the specs over here. I'll put a column over here with the specs, so that way you guys can kind of look over the specs. But nine foot two, I think it's around about 50 something pounds. But yeah, I'll let the specs tell you all that because I really don't know. I'll go to Piranha's website and pull those up for you guys. I'm gonna go over the boat from bow to stern and work my way back to the, the stern. But yeah, we'll start here on the bow. I'll do a quick walk through. I'm not gonna talk too much about the outfitting in it. The outfitting's the same as my Ripper, Ripper 9R, 12R, Ozone. I've done reviews on other Piranha boats in the past. I'm not gonna keep rehashing the outfitting. I will tell you a few little things, a few little like small minute changes that Piranha did, but I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about the, um, the outfitting. I'll let you guys kind of look at the other videos for that where I do more walkthrough on that. We'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and start here with the bow. Right away, look at the amount of bow rocker in this thing. That is a lot of bow rocker. 15, 16 inches of bow rocker, I'm guessing. I don't know what that would be in centimeters. One of you guys leave a comment on what that is in centimeters. But look at that bow rocker in there. And then comparison to the stern rocker, a lot of stern rocker too. But yeah, so the bow, the bow is a very high rockered bow. They do, Prana did do the peak on the bow. I'm a, I'm a big fan on that peak, so when you do get the bow, but the bow submerged it's easier to pop back up sheds water nicely really nice looking deck stylings i love those deck those deck lines those deck lines look nice and i think that gives it a kind of a a smaller profile for water to splash off of right there that's very interesting uh grab handle grab handles the big beefy piranha grab handles nothing new on that got the mount for the gopro mounts Hey, you guys leave in the comments if you know where to pick one of these up online. I don't think Piranha offers these. Some manufacturers ship them with the boat, but Piranha does not. Are those sold somewhere? Because I haven't really looked. Um, I'd like to pick one up eventually. But yeah, moving on handle here. Nice grab handle here. Good sturdy spot for, for mounting for rescues and, pull, and tying the boats down. I really like handles there. New graphics. Look at these new graphics. So the new graphics is Piranha advanced whitewater kayaks since 1971 i'm impressed they're still going strong hey look at that they they're using a different type of screw and nut and washer combo they're not using those those flathead screws that they used to so a flathead screw is like a flat with a taper on it i think those are called flathead screws this is called a button a socket head or button head screw piranha has changed all their screws to that socket head or button head which i really like that is that's more kind of standard and i really like they went away from that plastic washer seemed like no one knew how to how much to tighten on those plastic washers they had a they were plastic with a ring built into them not i mean really cool looking very like had a really nice fit and finish to them but yeah they got away with that so 
Good job on Piranha to kind of standardize all of their screws now. Two screws right into a roller molded pillar right there. So there is inserts into a roller molded pillar nicely. You still have your, you know, Nalgy bottle fits really nice right there. Throw rope fits nice right there. I like that setup for that. Uh, nice big bulkhead, stout two outfitting, same ratchet, same thigh brace, back band. Uh, yeah, I think they, like I said, different screws there. They're not using those other type of screws. They're using a socket head or button head screw. Back band, you know, you have to tie a knot in it. I've went on and on about that, no big deal. You know, hip pads, they, once you get them kind of set in place, they work pretty good. Two grab handles back here. Nice, big, deep wall holder. Look at that. Big, deep, molded in wall holder. Nice idea for a drain port right there. I like that. Water always seems to puddle on the back of that rim. I like that Prada does that. The, um, the wall holder, you know, it holds it in place. They did do away with the two little goofy screws back here. So more, more of this deck styling in the stern. Look how they did that cut in right there. Probably helps shed water or loading that edge a little better. I like that. That looks interesting. Nice name too, Scorch. I'm a big fan of multicolor graphics. I like that multicolor graphic, by the way. Seal number, ah, you know, their seal number's not molded in. It's actually etched in. You know what I think this is? I think that's where I experimented using this tool that you can set on a boat, you type in what you want, and it etches, it, it does like a little CNC, it etches out what you type in. Piranha's not doing a molding in, that looks like that's etched in. So they're using that tool, that gun that you put up on the boat and type in. Other manufacturers will put a mold in graphic there, but that's etched in. Oh, that's kind of cool. And they got a little texture around it. Nice texturing here, by the way. Mold quality looks really good. The boat feels nice and firm all the way across. Uh, rear grab handles nice and grab. Here's something right here. Look at this. Piranha has a new drain plug. How cute is this little guy? It's a little piranha fish. I don't know if you guys can see that. It does have a hole in it. One problem is, look, it's very, it's not the durometer. And for you guys, the durometer of rubber is how stiff the rubber is. But check this out. It's like you take that drain plug out and I just barely pull on it. Look at that. It just, what is this? Come on, guys. What is that? <laughs> Give me a break. Um, and look how tiny it is. Look how small that drain plug is. That thing is, that thing is like that big. That's so cute. Uh, it's like they, they work more on the aesthetics of that, that little head. They do have a little um, hole in the eyeball for you to tie off right there. But who wants to run another cord right there? Um, that's, that's ridiculous. Piranha could go in and possibly you know, uh, use a higher durometer rubber and make that a little stiffer and maybe grind out the mold and make this, this wider and larger so it doesn't just pop in and out so easy. But that's crazy. You're definitely gonna be losing drain plugs. So, you know, Piranha, you should throw a few in the bag for people, but um, yeah, that's something you guys need to keep in mind that when you take your drain plug out, it might go flying across the river with water pressure. But you know, this is a minor thing. You know, it's like it's, they're, they're compromising with us, I guess. Uh, instead of using a tap and screwing in or molding in. But you know, it's a drain plug. That's, that's out of the grand scheme of things, that's pretty damn minor as far as like a boat goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead. I know what you want and you're wanting to see the hull. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and let you see the hull. How about that? There you go, look at that hull. So to me, I'll start up here and kind of show, give you my opinion on this. I love the fact they went really deep with the uh, wave deflectors here. Look how deep those wave deflectors are on each side. I'm a fan of those. They work. They help knock the bow up higher. They don't let water come over the bow. They work with this nice flat planing surface right here. So they planed out their surface in the front. And this is kind of like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of a, a planed out surface here. And it's been over the years as hull technology has improved. We found out that if you round that off, it works really well for banging off rocks and all that crap. But if you flattened it out, if you flatten this area out right here, it gives that ability to come down, hit aerated water or hit flat water and just skim out. And this will give you the ability to get over things that you might not have been able to get over before in your other creek boat. That's a nice feature. It'll be a really cool feature to test out here on this run because there's a few drops where I want to get out like that. Textured all the way to the edge. I'm a big fan of texture. Very sharp edge. The edge actually runs starting about right there. If you guys can see a few inches back from the bow and it just runs, this edge runs 
all the way to the back of the boat, all the way to the nice side. edge on both sides. It runs the entire length of the boat. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that edge reacts to flow and current. I paddle the prototype on this boat. So I kind of know how the prototype paddles, but I've never paddled the production. I just got the production one yesterday, outfitted it, got it ready to go um, and all that. Oh yeah, look at all these graphics. <laughs> look how many, look how many molding graphics you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 molding graphics wow man they're going a little crazy with the graphics that i really like um I, i've always liked the piranha fish way that looks this i don't think is available on um, production boats i think that's either a custom or a team boat or something like that so you won't see that top graphic on there and the piranha i went over the piranha graphic hey and it, okay this is um so from what i understand this mz3 is is what piranha's calling their resin you know, it's kind of like their special resin. I've seen that. But this right here, PE stands for polyethylene recyclable. What is, if you guys, you guys leave in the comments below, if you know what 1100KLY means. I'm thinking it's something to do with UV degradation or a recycled mix in the plastic, but I'm not sure. I haven't really looked that up. If any of you guys know exactly why they're putting this graphic on there and what it's what it means, let me know because I don't know. I'd like to know what that means. I know what the MZ3 means. That's the type of resin that they use, but I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so that'd be a little little nugget that I'd like to know anyway. Yeah, nice generous stern rocker on it. Look at that stern rocker. I talked about the stern rocker. That's up there. It should give the ability to lean back on uh, it. That's pretty much all I got on the the Piranha Scorch. So you guys stay tuned and I'll post a on water review soon. But I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll uh I'll check you next time. Let's get on the water. Woo!